Hello second grade students, boys and girls. This is our last video for this year, so I hope you are going to enjoy it. Well, in this part we're going to continue with our book and we're going to turn uh, to unit 12, Traveler's Tale. Okay, let me see. And in this page we're going to open page 113 so we're going to continue our activities for this class we're going to start with a listening activity okay in this part we have Steve Anderson is at his old school giving a, a talk about his trouble listen to the listen to the end of Steve's talk mark the statements true or false so he here you have three statements, no? Number one, he wants to get married and start family. You say true or false, according to the listening. When he was younger, he didn't like staying home. No, true or false, he's going to stop traveling soon. True or false? We are going to listen and then you check. Let me see, here's the audio, no, here you have true or false. And so when I was here in school, I decided that I really wanted to travel. You know, some people want to write, other people want to get married and start a family, some people want to go and live in another country. And that's fine, but not me. Me, I just wanted to travel. I've never been a person who stays at home. Even when I was 12 or 13, I biked to other places near here just to see what they were like. I've always loved traveling, all my life, and I still do. And I never want to stop. So that's it. Thank you. Well, thank you, Steve. That was such an interesting talk. You really have been to a lot of different places, haven't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> Okay, this was the audio. Now here you have three questions. One, two, and three. True or false? He wants to get married and starts family. True or false? True? Okay. And when he was younger, he didn't like staying at home. True or false? True. Okay. He's going to stop traveling soon. False. Okay. So remember, if you didn't catch the idea you can listen the audio once again okay now let's check it in let's check your answers one two three oh there is a mistake he wants to get married and start family it's false okay let's see now it's okay no here you have the answers you have to complete your books so I continue. You can pause the video and then you play once again. Now let's see. Number two. In number two says, now that children ask Steve's questions, listen and match the sentence with the phrases. Here I have three sentences. The most interesting place he's been to. The place where he ate uh, cooked spiders. And finally, the place where he was sick. And we have three possible places, Africa, India, and Mexico. Teacher, it's a listening, yes. Let's continue with listening activity. So everyone, I'm sure you have lots of questions for Mr. Anderson. Anyone? Yes, Mandy. What's the best place you've ever been to? Wow, that's a hard question. I mean, I've been to so many great places. Okay then, what about the most interesting place? Ah, then I think maybe it was Mexico. The people there are wonderful, and it's so beautiful too. Some really wonderful places and things to see. And very interesting because of its history. Another question? Have you ever eaten anything really horrible? Like a snake or something? <laughs> No, I've never eaten a snake, but I've eaten some strange things. Once in Africa, I ate a cooked spider. Ugh. Well, you know, it was really very good. 
but I don't eat them at home, okay? <laughs> yes, Tom. Has anything really bad ever happened to you in another country? You know, like an accident or something. Well, no, I've been very lucky. I was sick once in India, but nothing too bad. And lots of times I nearly had an accident in a minibus or in a taxi. But only nearly. But no, I guess I'm just very lucky. Okay, last question. Yes, the girl over there. Yes, you say that you're a traveler. So what's the difference between a tourist and a traveler then? Is there a difference? Good question. You know, nobody has ever asked me that before, but I know my answer. Tourists take suitcases with them. Travelers take backpacks. That's how I look at it, you know? I'm not on vacation when I travel. Know what I mean? Yes, I think so. Here's another idea. If you're in a city and there's a tourist there, you know that he or she is a tourist. You know, map, camera, horrible shirt, sandals, and socks. <laughs> But it isn't so easy to see the travelers. Okay, well, we have to stop now. Steve, thanks again. Thanks, everyone. Okay, this was Steve's uh, interview. And some children asked him some questions. So, the first part says, The most interesting place he's been to, Africa, India, or Mexico? That's right, it's Mexico. Number two, the place where he ate a cooked spider. Africa or India? That's right, it's Africa. Finally, the place where he was sick. India. Let's check answers. Excellent. That's the idea, no? In this part, we're practicing listening. So let's continue. You can stop the video and do your activities. Then you can replay. Let's see. Number three. Mister, another listening. Yes, that's right. Listen again and answer the questions. Here I have four questions. Has he ever eaten a snake? No. Did he like the spider that he ate? Has he had any accidents in a uh, minibus or taxi? What the tourists and travelers take with them? Now let's listen. Let's listen. So everyone, I'm sure you have lots of questions for Mr. Anderson. Anyone? Yes, Mandy. What's the best place you've ever been to? Wow, that's a hard question. I mean, I've been to so many great places. Okay then, what about the most interesting place? Ah, then I think maybe it was Mexico. The people there are wonderful, and it's so beautiful too. Some really wonderful places and things to see. And very interesting because of its history. Another question? Have you ever eaten anything really horrible? Like a snake or something? <laughs> no, I've never eaten a snake. But I've eaten some strange things. Once in Africa, I ate a cooked spider. Ugh. Well, you know, it was really very good. But I don't eat them at home, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tom. Has anything really bad ever happened to you in another country? You know, like an accident or something. Well, no, I've been very lucky. I was sick once in India, but nothing too bad. And lots of times I nearly had an accident in a minibus or in a taxi. But only nearly. But no, I guess I'm just very lucky. Okay, last question. Yes, the girl over there. Yes, you say that you're a traveler. So what's the difference between a tourist and a traveler then? Is there a difference? Good question. You know, nobody has ever asked me that before. But I know my answer. Tourists take suitcases with them. Travelers take backpacks. That's how I look at it, you know? I'm not on vacation when I travel. No. Okay, and in this part we have the answers. What about number one? Has he ever eaten a snake? Yes or no? Number two, 
Did he like the spider that he ate? Yes or no? That's the answer. Number three. Has he had any accident in a minibus or taxi? Yes or no? Number four is different. It says, what do tourists and travelers take with them? Aha, uh -huh. what do they take with them? So, those questions are going to be answered in our classes, okay? So, we're going to continue with this part. Now, it says grammar. Person perfect with ever and never. So, listen. If you practice the person perfect, as I told you in uh, the last class, this is going to be very easy. But if you don't, that is going to be a problem. Here I have uh, some sentences. No, I've ever or never. And have you ever or never? I've eaten a snake. I've never or I've ever. Could be never, okay. Have you ever or never ever eaten anything really horrible? Let's see, one, two, three. The answers are right, no? Be careful, when you use never, you are talking about a negative sentence. But it's not necessary to write haven't, no? I've never, so if I use never, I say no. Okay? I've never eaten a snake in my life. Never in my life. What about ever? When you use ever with questions. Have you ever eaten anything horrible? Have you ever been in Cusco? Have you ever drank, uh, sorry, have you ever drunk uh, wine, for example? That's the idea. Okay? Have you ever? Ever with questions. And I've never because the sentence is negative. Okay, let's see. Here I have a rule. No, excuse me. Let me see. Here. Here it says, look, rule. When we use the present perfect to talk about experiences and we want to say, no? Remember, about experiences. At no time in my life, we use the word never. So, never. At any time in your life, we use the word ever. I remember, uh, never, especially with negative sentences, and ever with questions. The words ever and never usually come between half and the past participle, okay? between half and the verb. Let's see, here I have some uh, questions and answers. And this is very easy. No, have you? This is a question. Have you ever? Okay, let's see. Have you ever seen a silent movie? Yes, I. Yes, I have. No? Let me see. Yes, I have. Yeah, much better. Number two. Have you ever to the Olympic Games? Have you ever to the Olympic Games? Have you ever been? It's a possibility, no? Have you ever been to the Olympic Games? No. Okay? No. I've never been them. I've never been them. Have you ever tennis? Yes, it is. Have never played. Yeah, it's a possibility. Play tennis? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, I have. It's affirmative. Yes, I have. Teacher, no, it's possible. Uh -uh. Because if the answer is yes, I have. Yes. No, I haven't. Have you ever really had chili? Have you ever really had chili? It's like in the Spanish, say, rocoto. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten really hot chili? No, 
I've never tried chili. Let's see. One, two, three. That's the idea, no? Remember, with questions ever. And in negative, what do you use? Never. Ever and never. In British English, you can say ever and never. There is no problem, okay? You can take notes and I can continue. Okay? Functions. Let's continue with this part says functions. Talking about life experiences. It says work with a partner, work in pairs, as and answer the questions. So here you have some information about the question. You need to transform in a complete question using the person perfect. How can we start? For example, here I have one example. You have in number one ever see snake. Have you ever seen a snake? You have two possible answers. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Yes, I have. It was a python at the zoo. In this part, you're giving extra information. Is that possible? Yes, of course. For example, have you ever seen a snake? Yes, I have. It was a, in the farm. No, it was in the farm. Number two, ever eat something horrible? Aha, uh -huh. have you ever eat or eaten? Eaten, okay? Have you ever eaten something horrible? You have two possible answers. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. If that is yes, I have, you can give the class extra information, okay? Number three, have you ever been? No. Have you ever been on television? Remember, you have two possible answers. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. But remember, you can add extra information. Have you ever speak? No. Have you ever spoken to someone from Australia? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Have you ever won a, bit, a prize? Have you ever won a prize? Maybe in a competition? Or a contest? Yes, I have. No, I have Possible answer. Have you ever visited another country? Yes, I have. No, I have it. Now, listen. Uh, the idea with this uh, function is you to speak to the class. Just calm, keep calm, relax, and give your ideas. All, ide all, uh, all ideas are welcome, so there's no problem, no? In this part, this is speaking time, working pairs, think of a famous person. No, we can, we can work here, or we can focus on here, this part. It's similar, so we're going to work this part, okay? So, get ready for the class. Uh, let's continue with trying to think, exploring differences, no? Speaking, working in small groups, look at a pair of things, answer and question. What's the same? What is different? No? A car or a, and a taxi? A train or a plane? A vacation or a journey? A tourist or a traveler? So what's the same? What's the difference? The same. A car and a taxi have wheels, doors and driver. Difference. You drive a car, but a taxi driver drives a taxi. In a taxi, you have to pay. No, in this case, I'm giving X information. For example, you can say, I can have a car uh, the same. The car use a uh, use uh, gasoline. Okay, gas. And the difference is that mm, taxi uh, use gas, no? Uh, GMV, GNV, no? 
they like to get money so they use gas no for example the that the car is personal and the taxi is for working not with public not with public now let's see what about a, a train and a plane in a train you can you can travel no the same the difference one can go on the land and the other fly no one can fly so you need to to tell ideas about the others no about the others also here we have pronunciation stress sentence stress 121 let's see 100 oh excuse me it's not in this part so maybe in your books okay now let's see next page in this part we have a reading activity now it's about a taxi driver reading interview put the four questions in the correct place have you ever had a famous passenger famous passenger okay have passengers ever left anything in your taxi for example have they forgotten something for example a cell phone or wallet a, a camera what's the worst part of your job so you're a taxi driver what's the worst part letter d when did you start no when did you start being a taxi driver no the taxi driver Meredith uh, McClintry is a taxi driver in New York City. She tells us about her work and same of her experiences. So here is number one. We read this part and we complete with one of those uh, possible headings, okay? Encabezados. I've been a taxi driver for about five years before. Before that, I was a third bus driver. And I enjoyed it, but I wanted to be more independent, so I changed and I started diving a taxi. What could be the possible heading? A, B, C, or D? Yes, in my opinion, also letter D, no? When did you start driving? Next. Oh, yes, I had movie stars, politicians, you know, a lot of famous people. About a year ago, a really famous actor got into my taxi. I took him to the to the airport. There was a lot of traffic and it took a long time to get there. So he missed his plane. It wasn't my fault. But when he got out of the taxi, he said some things that weren't very polite. I said to him, next time, take the bus. No, so what is the possible heading for this? One A, B, or C? Oh yes, people have left all kind of things in here: a suitcase, a hat, cell phones, of course, even a dog. Once, year ago, a woman left a pair of shoes on the back seat, and one time a passenger left his teeth here not real teeth of course full teeth no teeth people have also asked me to do some strange jobs once a doctor stopped me outside a hospital and asked me to take a skeleton uh, to another hospital and i did but i asked the doctor to pay first the skeleton couldn't pay after all number four Good question. I've always enjoyed being a taxi driver and I don't want to change. But of course, sometimes it not, it's not great. I don't like driving around without a passenger. But it's better uh, than just waiting at the airport or train station. I think that's the worst part of waiting. Well, here the idea is to put the correct heading encabezado in the correct paragraph here in number two we have some questions so what do we have to do easy answer the questions 
about this text and we're going to see it tomorrow okay now let's see this is going to be our class i hope you enjoyed these videos no and hope to see you on, uh, on friday take care of yourself remember use your alcohol your mask if you must face okay if you go out and that's it thank you so much